some fascinating statistics on how much yes. rain, Kristen, we've already had in just these five days. I know, and then we have more to put on top of this, too. Take a look at this. We're in a surplus now, and we're in a surplus in a fairly big way, considering we're only in, what, midway through the first week of, of or I guess all the way through, first week of December. But before we get to that, we got to sneak in this video. we got to sneak in this video. This is too good not to, because we have been getting some good snow up at Mount Hood. This is at government camp. Snow levels all the way down uh, to about 3,000, 3,500 feet. And we picked up four to six inches, six inches or more, of course, at the top of Mount Hood Meadows and, and Timberline there. So just beautiful uh, to see that. Now, we are going to pick up a little bit more snow. I'll show you a live picture from Mount Hood Meadows in a second, but I did want to get back to what Jeff was talking about. I was showing this, them hit this earlier just before I came on to do this, and we were just so excited about it because we've been talking about this deficit, deficit, deficit with the rain. Well, look at where we are right now. Uh, so far, 1.61 inches, and so we're almost at an inch above normal for Portland. Salem, 1.56 inches above normal. Uh, Eugene, uh, just a little bit above normal, but better than that big deficit that you've been in for so long. Astoria, of course, in a surplus. Plus at almost one and a half inches, Redmond a little bit below there, uh, but that's definitely something really nice to see. And we're going to be picking up more rain as we go through uh, this next week. The weather stays really active, so we have this system that's going to be approaching. It's going to bring, bring in some rain for the beginning of tomorrow, and then it's going to bring in some very wet weather tomorrow night. We have another system on its heels, and then yet we're going to have more systems to go through all the way through much of next week. And some of these uh, could be very wet, and some of these could be very windy for us. And so we're going to have to watch that really closely, especially next Monday, Tuesday. Uh, so out there right now for your Friday night plans, things are looking A-OK -okay as far as the rain is concerned. Just a few scattered showers along the coast range back towards the Cascades too, where we're trying to pick up a little bit more snow. Here's that live picture I was talking about from Mount Hood Meadows, and you can still see it come down, and uh, it looked really nice and powdery. Some of the video I saw from up there earlier today, so it should be a really uh, good day tomorrow. Unfortunately, snow levels are going to start to rise a little bit by tomorrow night, so try to get out there and enjoy it. Uh, 49 degrees right now in Portland, you can see we're trying to clear some of the cloud cover out. Uh, winds coming in from the southeast at 5, so just a light breeze for us. Temperatures in the upper 40s, up and down most of I-5. Uh, back towards government camp, we're at 34 now, low 50s for the coast, and mainly in the mid to upper 30s for central Oregon. Tonight, we'll dip down into the 20s there, uh, teens to 20s out along I-84, and then lows in the 40s for us along the coast and for the valley. Now, let's check that rain. If you have the plans this weekend to get out and about, maybe you're doing some shopping and you want to dodge the rain, here's when you can do it. First thing in the morning, there will be some light rain around, uh, but then that gets out of here pretty quickly. You head out to lunch tomorrow, and we're seeing most of the showers lift to the north. So just dealing with the cloud cover, and that'll be the trend for several hours. And then dinner time arrives. 7, 8 o'clock, we start to see those showers really increase in coverage. Winds really start to ramp up for the coast, and then it all starts to head inland. And so we'll have to watch out for those showers tomorrow night. We'll be pretty wet, and it will be blustery too. So the time of, of kind of night where that umbrella can maybe invert a little bit because of the winds. Uh, by Sunday morning, we're going to be looking at rain and some high elevation snow for the Cascades. We get another break, so enjoy that one because by 7 p.m. Sunday evening, we get hit by another system that's going to bring in another wave of moisture, and that one could be blustery as well. And it looks like it could be bring even heavier rain for us Sunday night, and it lingers into Monday too. So your specific forecast for tomorrow, low to mid 50s, rain and wind. Heaviest action will be to the north. We're going to be watching for winds gusting to 50 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night for the coast. I-5, uh, low to mid 50s, a few showers early, a pretty decent afternoon, heavy rain for the evening. Winds pick up gusting to 25 miles an hour. Central and east highs in the 30s and 40s, mostly cloudy with a few evening showers around. And then for the Cascades, a few spotty showers will be possible. Snow level starts to rise a little bit, a little blustery too. Uh, winds gusting to 30 and 40 miles an hour and back towards Hood River, cloudy and breezy with that rain moving again tomorrow night. Here's a seven day forecast. And we're looking at highs in the upper 40s Saturday, low 50s Sunday. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, tough to even get that dry time going. It's going to be wet. It's going to be windy. And then we keep those rain chances going right on through next week. So, again, we're in a little bit of a surplus for the month of December so far. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we could keep that going with how active things are going to be staying for the next week. And it's great when you're showing us the snow video mm -hmm. compared to last year when we were no. dry right now with right. snow. This is yeah. quite something, isn't but, it? But don't say that because I'm jinxing it. You're jinxing, I'm jinxing it because, it. you know, these systems look a little bit warm, okay, sorry so it might that. be a little bit tougher. We'll, we're going to have to, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tougher to get <laughs> the right. snow going. Yeah. Zip it. This it, it, this it, I didn't say anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Posted. Thank you very much. All right, still to come.